San Diego, our crest has risen. Our time to stand together is now. The wave is calling. The league's newest expansion team, the San Diego Wave FC, revealed their crest and colors to the public. As a wave rises, it forms a crest with a horizon. Colors of a sky as vibrant and proud as our culture. The colors of the sand we play in and the common ground we share. Colors that showcase the beauty of our Pacific Ocean. Soccer football is everywhere in this city and the rich tradition and history of soccer is why I truly believe this town will fall in love with our team. Wave FC president Jill Ellis describes how the team name came to be. The name takes inspiration from the city's pristine and powerful coastline and we have every intention of being a bold force in today's professional sports landscape. Soccer isn't just a game, it's part of life. It's part of your community. Where girls are not only encouraged to play the game, but they are also given the platform to thrive and to perform. Casey Stoney is the Wave FC's first head coach and hopes having a local professional women's soccer team to cheer for inspires young females to play soccer. One local youth player, Melanie Barcenas, is already a fan. I'm super excited and cannot wait for this amazing season to kick off and to be able to cheer for my own local team. Barcenas is inspired by U.S. women's national team members and Wave FC's recent signings, Alex Morgan and Abby Dahlkemper. They are strong and fierce women that have already accomplished so many great things and that is why I look up to them. That has helped women's soccer grow and change for the better. Being a Southern California native, Alex Morgan is excited to make a long-term commitment to the club and the city. I want to be able to give back to the community that I live in and not only does that mean playing on the field and, and inspiring the next generation and young girls, but actually digging into the community and, and being a part of um, you know, of why these girls continue to play soccer. Wave FC's inaugural season kicks off in May, and they will temporarily play at USD's Torero Stadium until Snapdragon Stadium, their permanent home in Mission Valley, is completed. Melissa May, KPBS News.